Bluffton taking on Van Buren. Game originally scheduled four. Bluffton got moved to Van Buren to the Black Knights at home. But they're the road team. Top of the second, they're up 7-1. Bases loaded. But Chris McClain gets out of the jam for the Pirates as he strikes out. Jimmy Irving would get a ground out to end the threat. Move to the bottom of the second now. Pirates trying to get something going offensively. Brett Rumor lead off single into center field, but Skyler Tanner would pick off two Pirate runners in the second. Move to the third now. Man on first and third for the Black Knights. Isaac Sexton, deep drive off the fence in left field. Had a home run earlier. Ross Adolph scores 8-1 Van Buren on the RBI double. Next batter for Van Buren, Chance Sonnenberg. Lefty with the base hit into left center as Jamison Jacobs and Sexton both come in to score. 10-1 Black Knights. Next batter for Van Buren, Peyton Whitaker. A little blooper into right field, but James Herod makes a diving catch for the Pirates. It would be a wild one in game one. Van Buren would get the victory 19-16. Plenty of offense at Van Buren. And they'd get the second victory as well, 18-8. A lot of runs scored up in Van Buren. About Marion Local, new coach Justin Woods. He's ready for game one against Bradford. Aaron Meatfield hits it back to the pitcher. Trouble handling it. And then look out, double trouble here, throwing the first. Austin Albers comes in to score, making it one to nothing Flyers. Then the Railroader catcher tries to pick off Cole Griesdorn at third, flies down the left field line. Griesdorn scores two nothing, Marion Loco after one. Top two, Neatfield dealing strikeout here. Flyers sweep Bradford, seven to one in the first and five to three in the second. They are now three and one on the young season. And there you see those final scores.